Jim. And we do have Laid. Laid being one of the guys who just pretty much plays a, a bunch a bunch of characters and he is just insane at what he does, right? But we're gonna take it right back into the game. Now this is the problem with Palutena and not being green team. Her hair is green. <laughs> her hair is green, bro. Yes, her skin is red though. Her, her, her skin, her clothes are red. Courtesy sure, of the color. Sure. All right, so a lot of nice combos there. We see a little bit of this teaming uh, in New York sometimes. Uh, e will sometimes play, I'm not sure with Jen, but there's a couple Palutena's, so we've seen this matchup before. Um, and then Wolf chasing super far off. Daybreak doing a really good job of keeping Laid away from his teammate here. You know, and they're doing such, uh, Bachi and uh, Daybreak are doing such a good job of just switching so so fluidly and just keeping the mat, keeping keeping themselves on their toes. Oh. Okay, great up smash by Daybreak. Mm -hmm. Up smash out of shield is a very nice punish. Scoops on both sides very quick and kills very early, yeah. although a lot of Wolf does that. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, true, true. All right. Uh, oh, oh, late for the go for an aggressive option there. But when was that there? <laughs> Yo. Looking very nice. We got Bachi off the stage. Everyone's just dying. Come on. Let's get late stock out here. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Even footing. Immediately. We're playing Smash 4 now. Two stocks only. Start from neutral. Yeah, no, and unfortunately, one missed grab by Bachi, and Daybreak took 73%. That has got to hurt right now. Mm -hmm. That's one thing about Isabel's grab. Uh, very slow on the whiff and very slow startup, so it's difficult to deal with. Good trapping right there, by the way. Uh, knocks him into the trap, and when they air dodge forward, covers with the fishing rod. Yeah. Smart play. And you have to... You have to Ask yourself, how many people actually know the Isabel matchup? Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> see, that's the thing, right, is that there's very small differences from the um, villager matchup, but those small differences, the down B and the side B, uh, Bachi's using them very creatively, like for chase traps, things like that, like we just saw there a moment ago. I know, and late doing such a fantastic job of actually just, all right, well, <laughs> I was gonna say, does, does, doing a great job of keeping Daybreak away from Bachi and forcing out to, you know, forcing his jump, making sure that Wolf's recovery, which is very exploitable, does get hit. Great back. Yep. Uh, Wolf back air, his feet might as well be made of steel. Although I think that was the he old lore. He clearly yeah. has steel claws. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, good job right there. Good tech, by the way, from Laid. So if you see right there, um, Bachi actually trapped on the ledge with Isabel using the pot and then went to chase down low with the fast fall there. Good call. Okay. Bachi trying, trying to fight Jen right now. Oh, oh, the side B. What happened? Oh! All right, we take it. We take it. If your partner lives, it's fine. <laughs> it's only bad when your partner dies. Remember, friendly fire isn't, except when it works. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, all right. Sharking with the up air on that one. Yeah, man, but this match is this match is not. It, it's it's still super. It's close. It's very close. It's more or less neck and neck. Bachi can play uh, oh, distance. No. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, made it back with the very last hit. Yo! Jen actually dies. Jen and, is dead. Yo, this is go. actually um, this is not the worst spot to be in for Laid, but this is not an easy spot to be in. Oh, oh no. walks into his opponent's rocket. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Blade has to play this carefully. If you know, he definitely is gonna try and take Bachi out, but Bachi knows it, so notice how she's staying away, and Daybreak is taking point. Yes, perfect. See, exactly like that. Waiting for when Laid comes to her, and then just, eh, I'll back air you away. Come to me next time. I don't feel like it right now. Oh. All right, you see trying to chase, though. A lot of rolls coming out from Bachi. All right. Okay, with the, the double coverage. up air. Damage is racking up, so if Laid can get a kill on Bachi, this could go either way. And Lucina is great at, at, at forward smashes. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. are you going to do it? No, no not yet. The DI. They, still have, they still have a chance to live. Oh, uh, no follow-up on that one. Little bit last second for me. Yo, oh, it's gonna do it. do it. And Bachi yeah. and Daybreak take game one in a very, very Ooh. close fashion. Man, I wish they sold razors that cut that close. They just <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, know what I like about Bachi? What's that? Her excitement. Like I team, <laughs> I team with her at SmashCon like a, like a year or two ago, mm -hmm. and every time we win a match, like it was just so heartfelt. You know, I'm like, oh, wholesome. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we was, did it. Yeah, it was wholesome. I'm like, ah, uh, come here, give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say that Isabel is the perfect character for that. Then probably 
Look, many people will argue, maybe. I'm sure there's a lot of waifus, things like that. Isabelle is just so wholesome. She's literally just a puppy dog who's super happy all the time. Yeah, you can't hate her. All, all of her taunts are literally just being happy. Like, she waves at the screen, and she does a little dance. And then here you are beating her down. <laughs> yep. And then she's teamed with Wolf, who is a mercenary who kills people for fun. <laughs> so, a bit of an odd pairing, but they are both animals, so maybe there's something going on there that I don't know. You We're know. here against the goddess and pretty much the Amazonas yes. <laughs> in Lucina. <laughs> and that is... And we found out from game one that it doesn't look like either of them are dog people. We'll see if that's fixed for round two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it's, it's going to be Ooh, interesting to see what adaptations they make because I, I think that they just can't let Daybreak cover, ba cover Bachi, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, they're split up right now, and Jen is doing a decent job of uh, staying on Bachi, not letting her cover Daybreak, alternatively, too much. Um, but both of these characters can play at a uh, distance fairly comfortably. Wolf Blaster is still very good, even after the nerf, and Isabel is, well, uh, not a clone of Villager, but derived from Villager. So there's a lot of keep away similarities there. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's definitely going to want his face. All nice. Great air dodge. He actually air dodged in to, you know, Help his recovery a bit. Yeah, but it was a good chase on that one, though, Jen. Okay. All right. He has Ooh, to be careful. Very Great nice. coverage by Laid. Understanding that Bachi little... wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't, wasn't dangerous because in a dangerous situation because of the fact that Jen was getting back up. Yes, exactly. Although, I don't know um, what a hard punish for the read on that would have been from Isabel. I assume just a smash, but even those those probably are not as scary as You ever get hit with that forward smash, bro? That is, like, de deceptively, pop. like, yeah, de that is deceptively strong. It's a party popper for a reason. The party doesn't stop until you go pop. <laughs> and you're gone, man. Hey. All right. Rocket back on screen. Oh, okay. Uh, he, doesn't even it's, it's fine, 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 it's fine. Roll in, please. He was, like, he was like, do I shield? Do I parry? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll do it as well. Uh, game looking a lot cleaned up from the first one. David yeah, Bachi no. now on the back foot. I definitely do like I definitely do like what Red Team is doing here. They are playing a more synergized, and they are focusing on the fact that Wolf in doubles, it's really hard if you're constantly getting juggled, you know? Because mm. he has great moves. But his frame did is not necessarily the fastest, you know? Yes. So not he can the kind fastest. Of just get smacked around. <laughs> not the fastest, and he's dealing with a lot of disjoints. Excellent oh, yeah, counter, sure. by the way, from late. That is the uh, the. <laughs> he just party buffered. He just did it wrong. I'm telling or, you, man. She, that thing is she did it wrong. Baji, I'm so sorry. All right. All right. So now taking daybreak for a little ride. Gonna try to take care of him. Oh, runs into it. They are exploiting the counters, and as Baji struggles to come back to to come back on stage, Jen doing a great job of keeping her out of here. Yeah, Jen is, I would say, the better one to cat owner out of both of them with dash attack and back air being really good wall. Oh! oh. She just... I mean... Here, maybe maybe it's time for game three. Maybe she's wanna, just like, eh. You either want to go down in style, but in a situation like that where you are going to game three, and they have four stocks and you have one, you're just wasting energy, you mm -hmm. know? Like, if you get beat up after... Let, let, let's say she made a comeback, right? Yes. And it was so close, but then she died. Mm -hmm. She would have just had, like, her mentality might have just been, like, down the drain. So I actually Maybe. do respect that option to keep herself in the game and say, you know what? We lost. It's clear. Let's go. Let's move on to game three. That, that is a very fair point. I think there's a valid argument for both playing it out and for ending it at that point. Um, in that, this is a long, drawn-out mental game when you're in a bracket, even though this doubles bracket is not as big as many singles brackets are. Uh, there's a lot of teams to go through. There's a lot of tough competition. Yeah. Even just what we've seen so far has been fantastic. Yeah, no, and I don't think a dubs bracket is ever going to be as big as a singles bracket. Everything's uh, just combined. That's <laughs> I know, it's crazy. I think this is probably the largest that I've ever seen in New York, surely for Smash Ultimate. Yeah, no, so. and that's fantastic. And we are going to Unova, guys. So now this is the counter pick uh, specifically against teleport recoveries because when yeah. you teleport, because the stage is shaped like a tooth, uh, teleport recoveries draw a line and they follow the surfaces they hit. So if you recover low and close to the stage, it's a teleport recovery, 100% consistent, you are sent out and you die. Yeah, so they are banking on the uh, on Gen possibly SDing here, which, hey, I mean, it's, it's, it's strategy. It's not only uh, Gen SDing, this is also a little bit smaller of a stage. Platforms a lot like PS2, but without the room to zone out. Uh, oh, oh, trying to toss below. Oh, Bachi. <laughs> oh, you got nasty. <laughs> 
see in Daybreak and Bachi able to keep a little bit closer together at the start of this one. Stage being a bit smaller does also help with that as well. Okay, so nice. No, Daybreak, unfortunately, late actually doing a great job of putting Daybreak in that situation. And now they're Ooh, both off stage. Dolphin Blade, All right. Dolphin Slash is going to do it. I, I'd say getting back thrown out of that situation was actually the best case scenario on that one. Not getting comboed or anything off of that. Although now going to the corner trying to set up a Lloyd Rocket, but no such luck. Uh, Jen is right on top of Bachi. Okay, and Wade trying to space out his moves, understanding that Lucina can just kind of just keep Wolf out of the box if she needs to. She she excels at that, and he's and he's trying to make Daybreak use all of his options to land. Mm -hmm. What hit him? Uh, that <laughs> was Isabel back air. I, I think that was you know definitely yeah. Uh, yeah, so the back air is a little strange. Well, not super strange, and that the closer to the slingshot you are when the move comes out, the stronger it is, right? Um, oh, got a little bit of self team juggle on that one. Ooh, I was going to say struggle as they come down, but no such luck. Okay. All right, Daybreak keeping it safe. Actually does a tomahawk jump right there to try to yeah. threaten something out of shield. He tried to do uh, the fair because then at, she was at the, actually the, at the perfect percent to get down it from that. Mm -hmm. Forward smash punishing the throw, good option. Yeet. Yep. Yeet! Oh, top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, the, I, the fishing rod throw just... just, just woo. Like, I, I love the disrespect in that fishing rod. Yeah. It, it does definitely have that quality of like, oh boy, did I catch a 50 pound? Oh, no, never mind. Wah. Okay, and Bachi oh. is getting juggled here. She needs to find a way to land. Still hasn't. No. Oh my god! She's not getting to the ground. Let this puppy dog come find a home. Come on. Just let her be. She's done nothing wrong. All right. And now Jen is one of the offstage. Bachi oh, Jen, understands no jump. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't. He didn't have a jump. He had no choice but to teleport, or else Bachi was going to get that gift. Whoa! Did you see that fishing rod? Did you see the the recovery on that? That like oh, teleported her forward. What happened? Oh no! Um, ooh. All right. Hey. So this is a little bit of a dire situation here for Daybreak. We'll see if he can't make something work. If there are two characters that could exploit Wolf. Oh! oh. Okay. All right, here, here. <laughs> He's just going to leave it. He's not afraid. If there are two characters that can make Wolf's recovery seem like nothing off stage. It's, it's these two. It's these two. Like <laughs> Two counters. <laughs> like, this is, just, this is bad luck for Daybreak. <laughs> oh, it's rough. And, yeah. oh, no, he wasn't prepared for it I, that time. Uh, he has a jump, and he has to. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> He's out. That uh, was unfortunate, but great showing from Bachi and Daybreak. Um, Jen and late, and this is you know what I want to point at the uh, I want to point out the difference between you know like high level players and top level players like you know these guys make adaptations on the fly you know they immediately assess what went what went wrong tongue twisters mm -hmm. <laughs> where it went wrong and they and they understand how to come back from that and I think that was so good by them yeah and I think that they did have a very strong comeback after game one they were like okay let's get our act together you know dogs let's get a lint brush in here let's take them out for their walkies you know what are they gonna do 